any scholarship obviously offers a recipient a chance to go somewhere new and to learn and study. I think what was unique though about the Rhodes Scholarship was that all the recipients from wherever they came around the world came to Oxford and that allowed the creation of some sort of community both whilst we were at Oxford and in our subsequent lives. I went to the centenary reunion a few years ago and really appreciated the range of people who've been involved and that common experience of having been at Oxford was an instant point of contact and an instant reference point and I find it a very valuable experience to keep in touch in that way. Some years ago a group of Australian Rhodes Scholars set up a scholarship fund uh, which has continued on to this day and we refer to it colloquially as the Reverse Rhodes Scholarship to bring out somebody to an Australian university uh, usually from a developing country but not necessarily so and to give them a chance to spend perhaps up to six or twelve months in the university doing research, exchanging information and building networks and so on. And although in some ways it's a very small program, I think those of us who are involved with it find it immensely rewarding because it's in a sense putting back in and giving an opportunity to uh, give an experience, an overseas study experience that we all benefited from. Professionally, I found the Rhodes Scholarship nothing but a benefit. If I had to say were there any downsides to the Rhodes Scholarship, I think occasionally uh, it's been a bit socially intimidating. Uh, some men in particular, I think, find uh, the idea of female Rhodes Scholars still fairly intimidating. But in a sense, I've had to get used to that in many stages of my career. I've been going to a dinner party and saying you're a Supreme Court judge can be a bit of a conversation killer as well from time to time. <laughs>